Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday in FIFA Ultimate Team. You know what that means here on the channel. It's Market Outlook time. Team of the group stage happening this week. Champions League games happening this week as well. There's a lot of stuff to go through this week. But the game is also feeling like it's kind of dead. So we'll talk about that for a minute. We'll talk about the state of the market. What has happened tonight with squad battle rewards and just the, the pre-order packs. A lot of the actual cards that are in packs right now. Team of the Group Stage cards are dropping. We have a lot of supply coming in from rewards. Again, this pack weight is very, very high. I was not really somebody who wanted to invest in these tonight, in my opinion. Uh, I just don't like where the market is at, as a whole. Instead, I chose to go some of the route of these cards that are going to be Talked about a lot this week, and we're going to be watching a lot of, and that is Road to the Finals. I'm going to talk a lot about Road to the Finals today, and this week, in in total, we're going to talk a lot about Road to the Finals. Now, I bought myself an Eden Hazard tonight uh, to try out for Weekend League and to also... Um, see as an investment because Real Madrid are playing on Wednesday. Um, I think a lot of these cards, they've already started to rise uh, from where they kind of, you know, when the market crashed this weekend on Saturday and a little bit into Sunday, um, a lot of these cards went back down as well. A lot of people bought back in and it's kind of pushing these cards up because we are heading into the first ever upgrade for some of these road to the final cards. So we're going to talk a lot about that again in this video too is RTTF upgrades, what does it mean, when you should be selling these cards if you have them invested, and what other things we could happen to see related to Champions League this week. Because this week, it's all about Champions League, right? Team of the group stage, Champions League, Europa League related promo, the road to the final items, SBCs, it will be coming out as well. The Alexander, um, or not Alexander, I keep mixing up Alexander Arnold and Oxlade Chamberlain. It's the hyphenated last names, man. It's what it is. Uh, but we have the uh, Oxlade Chamberlain SBC, which was a moments card for his goal versus Genk in the UCL 2019-2020 season. Uh, so I would not be surprised if we had another, you know, Euro Europa League or Champions League related SBC for a player at some point this week. Now, we already had another road to the final Herrera. And this was something they did during the, I think they did it during the groups or during the knockout stages in the spring last year in FIFA 20 was they released more road to the final players later on during the knockout stage period. I think they did do that. Um, I would not be surprised if we had another road to the final player come out this week. Of course, right now, Atletico Madrid links are very valuable because of this man right here, Joao Felix. And I will talk about this SBC today as well. But first things first, where is this market right now? As we head out of the weekend league, stuff is very low still. Neymar 800k, Varane 218. Golds have absolutely died this weekend and it's brought a lot of the market with it. A lot of icons got destroyed today. We're talking about player of the month possibly coming this week as well. But first, I want to look at the index icon, 91.6 points, dropping off from 95 on Saturday down to the 90 range. A lot of these cards have just absolutely got obliterated in price. Uh, middle root hole, it is 6.4 million coins. I'm pretty sure he was selling, yeah, 7.2. Somebody bought mid hold, I think I saw a screenshot on Twitter uh, last week for six, for 7.5, 7.4 million coins in like a promo Friday or something. The guy is down to 6.4 mil. Now we have qualifiers that are coming up in the future. So there will be cards like this that will have some sort of a rebound. But for the market as a whole, I really just kind of feel like we've seen a small bit and I'll preface this. We've seen a small bit of people investing since squad battle rewards. Joe Gomez was 49K, 50K. He's up to 53. Sun is up at 1 to 2K. Uh, Martial is up 1 to 2K. So some people have tried to invest in some of this stuff. Mendy is 79. He was 75. Um, but I really feel like there's just a really big feeling of people on this game right now in FIFA that are just not happy with the game, whether it's the gameplay, the next gen stuff has honestly flopped big time with no player faces on the new Beckham cards in game with the issues people are having with gameplay with, you know, finding matches, the connectivity issues with the PS5 and next gen gameplay and Xbox series X. So I feel like it's really right now in FIFA is just kind of like a a lot of a time where a lot of people are not happy. And part of that also stems around the new cards that are in packs, right? We talked about the high pack weight for these team of the group stage items. And whenever this happens, right, whenever we have a huge market crash, you see a lot of things talked about on Twitter, right? 50K packs, 3.6% from 125K packs, 10% chance of packing a Europa League or Champions League road to the, or uh, team of the tournament, team of the group stage card. But what happens is so many people lost coins this weekend 
that just that just makes people you know uh, not want to play FIFA. When you go on FIFA and you buy Neymar on Friday morning for your foot champions um, adventure, your weekend foot champions adventure, you buy Neymar for um, basically 970,000 coins on the PlayStation. You finish your games on Sunday evening and Neymar is down 170 K. You're not going to be too happy about it. You're like, you're going to be like, yo, if I'm really getting on and losing coins every single week in this game, this game isn't very fun for me. Is it really, really worth it? I think a lot of people right now are just not feeling very hyped and very happy about being on FIFA. And that just drives people away from FIFA is what it does. And I think that has also contributed to the stuff that is happening on the market right now as well. But I just, that's just kind of why I feel like I'm not really interested in these gold cards right now as investments. Do I think they could rebound a bit? Yes. But I just want to wait and see what comes out for the rest of the week this week. There's just so many unknowns still. Um, and uh, in all honesty, if we look at the bigger picture, a lot of these gold cards are probably still going to drop off in the next two to three weeks with team of the year on the horizon, more coin sync, foot miss SBCs, possibly team of the year nominees coming out. So yes, these guys are low. They've dropped off a lot. Maybe this weekend or on Thursday after rewards and throughout the week this week, if we don't get content, they bounce back a little. But overall, in the big scheme of things, these guys are probably going to continue to trickle down in price um, as we head throughout the year in FIFA. That's just how golds work because people move on from gold Neymar to get some sort of inform player or, you know, they go do an SBC and that replaces Neymar or whatever. So I think you're seeing more and more of that stuff coming out in the game as well. And especially with one SBC that is out right now in FIFA Ultimate Team, and that is Joao Felix, player of the month. This card right here is coming in on Footbin at 380k. After squad battle rewards tonight, we have seen some of the SBC fodder. It's not low, right? I would not describe SBC fodder and cheap SBC players right now as low, but they are down, right? If you take a look at some of these graphs, I looked at Keelini tonight on stream, uh, wherever he went. I don't know where he went, but I'll look at, uh, let's look at Hummels, right? This is a perfect example of an SBC fodder player. 18.5k on the PlayStation, 20k on the Xbox. He went to 28k on the Xbox over the weekend when uh, Felix came out. We had a couple base icons out, uh, Lucas Mora, right? And now he was 22k on the uh, PlayStation as well. And now these guys are back down a decent amount, right? These guys are back down a decent amount in the past couple of days. That is making some of these SBCs like Felix look a bit cheaper and more and more people are going to be interested in doing this. This Felix card for 380k is a crazy, crazy value card. I'll say it. It really is very, very, very crazy. Um, and I think a lot of people are going to end up doing this this week. If you want to do Felix, I know it's out for 30 days. I know this SBC is out for 26 more days from now. Do it. ASAP because with all the stuff that is coming up, more player of the month, possibly player of the month, Bruno coming on Friday, um, and Footmas on the horizon as well, that's going to bring a lot more hype to SBC fodder. So I think you want to get this Bruno done ASAP Rocky if you can. And if you do want to do Oxley Chamberlain, I would do that pretty quick too. Um, the only thing that would be nice to have is if there was some sort of repeatable upgrade pack that was good value. These rare player picks are pretty good value, but they don't give you a guaranteed rating, right? Uh, 81 plus UCL upgrades. This was an interesting one today. I saw some people talking about this 81 plus UCL upgrade um, as possibly a way for EA to give us, like they're sending us a message like, hey, do a few of these, get some 81 plus UCLs in your club because later this week we might release a, or this is the way some people were thinking, a guaranteed team of the group stage Europa League or Champions League player SBC. So a guaranteed team of the group stage player SBC requiring a certain amount of UCLs and a rating in that squad. So I think that's why people are just send my ideas, right? Obviously, we'll know if that SBC gets added into the code because we'll have the code tweeted out. There'll probably be some panic and people buying SBC fodder because of it. So that'll be something to watch out for as well. And also this base icon pack is, is expiring today at 6 p.m. UK on Monday. This has also got people talking about today on Monday. Some people think icon swaps might start today. I don't know how much I agree with that or how much I vibe with that, but I guess it's possible that they could just randomly start up icon swaps on a Monday. Uh, and that would be, that'd be big news for the market as well, because a lot of people are waiting for those icon swaps in FIFA, uh, because that is like a big grind for a lot of people. And that motivates people to play the game. Because especially this year, people, I don't know how it is for you guys, but I've played a lot more objectives and friendly game modes doing the objectives, right? Doing some of these cards for objectives, like I did Mukiele, um, I did the Korea objective, 
I was working on, I'm working on Bellerin at the moment, technically, like I've got Bellerin decent amount done, kind of slowly working on him. I don't know where that card is. Um, yeah, Premier League, League player, I've got, I gotta get, what is that? Eight more wins and two more goals. So I'm on my way to getting this Bellerin card because he fits my team pretty nicely. And of course, like guys like Molay, guys have done Delafeu, right? You do the Silver Stars almost every week. Coman is a great value objective that is out right now. This week as well, the Van Bergen and the um, the Gravenbirch and the Bumgardel. These these two guys specifically, Gravenbirch and Van Bergen. So many people are going after these this week. You got Dumfries, Rule Breaker card, and Inform are both almost extinct. Trying to you put together a team to link these guys to. And just, just to just do the objective as well. So there's just such a huge, huge um, objectives are huge in this game. And I think that pulls people away from the weekend league a little bit. Um, just kind of to add that to my point. But again, the state of the game is kind of sus. But I feel like I've talked a lot about that already. Let's go on to good old UCL. All right. Champions League is this week. Now we've got a lot of games that are coming, right? And a lot of you guys have said, yo, do I sell my cards? Do I hold on to them? What's the deal with these cards, right? Think about what has happened with the market already, right? Think about what has happened. We have these matches that are coming up on Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday for Europa League. This is going to decide which players get upgraded. This is the most fun week, in my opinion, for Road to the Final players, Road to the Final upgrades, and stuff that's going to happen with RTTF because a lot of these cards are going to stay very high, right? Look at how inflated they are right now, right? Bibu, 130. Um, Draxler, 70,000 coins. Uh, Kula Bali, 431. Promise, 278. Sissoko is over a mil. If we go look at Team 1 for Road to the Finals, I was looking at Griezmann tonight. 550, I think, is still a buy for him. Now, you know, Salah is 1.5, Muriel is 87. There's going to be a lot of market movements and a lot of hype around these players this week in FIFA. Even like when the games are live and running, right? Let's think about a team that's very close to getting in or not, right? I think Man U and the, the Man U, PSG, and Leipzig group, which is what? Is that group, uh, group H? Yeah, group H. Group B is also very close. But Group H is the one. There's a lot of people. A lot of people's eyes are on Group H this week. I think there. Was, I think Group B is the other one. Oh no, Group C with um. Oh no, it is Group Group D with Atalanta, Liverpool, and Ajax. With Ajax and Atalanta playing this week, a lot of eyes on on Promes, and then of course Real Madrid, right? Real Madrid this week playing against Mucha and Gladbach. They need to win basically to get in. It seems. Uh, I think they do at least. Um, but look through all the scenarios for these games this week. And that's also why I bought Hazard, right? Because all it takes, you, you remember where Hazard's card was earlier this year before Real Madrid lost against Shakhtar last week. Look how high this guy was, man. He, he was, he was over 800K. It says 780, 798. He was like 820, 830 that, that morning. And he's down basically a hundred thousand coins. So I won, I got one tonight at 720. If Real Madrid are lucky enough to score the first goal, I'm probably going to be selling this, this hazard card closer above 800,000 coins. And there's going to be a lot of hype with this stuff this week. Now, if you've mass invested in these cards, the safest thing to do is to sell them in the hype before the game or right at the start of the game. Because what is going to happen is after the game, even for the teams that their cards are going to get upgraded, right? Like, let's say we have um, road to the final. Let's say hazard, right? Let's use our hazard example. He is kind of lower right now because of Real Madrid and the position that they're in. Let's say Real Madrid are looking like they're going to win this game. This car is going to start flying up in price during that game. He's going to start going up, up, up. And once he reaches a high point, people are going to start taking the coins. People that invest in this card are going to start selling, undercutting. The upgrades for these cards are not going to happen most likely until Thursday night at the very earliest or Friday. These are probably not going to happen until Friday, maybe even Friday night after whatever content we get Friday 6 p.m. UK because it takes a little bit of time for EA to do this stuff. That's the way they've done it in the past. We'll see if they do it differently this year and talk about that again later this week. But all these cards are going to be highest ahead of time because also think about how much the market has dropped off. Why is Hazard or why is Sissoko and guys like um, Renato Sanchez still valued as low rated cards this high on the market when the rest of the market has been sold off so much? It's really just because of investors and people holding on to these cards. And there is going to be a flood of them on the market because people think their prices are going to rise when they get upgraded. But what's going to actually happen is the market's been devalued as a whole so much. A lot of these guards, cards are going to get upgraded 
and team of the year is going to come out in two, three weeks, and there's no more Champions League games until February, that these cards are going to be forgotten about very, very fast. It's going to be the same scenario as last year in FIFA 20. It's going to be the exact same scenario as in FIFA 20. I'm going to show you some of these cards right now. Let's take a look at Gareth Bale from last year in FIFA 20, his, his road to the final item, right? What you see is they come out, uh, boom. He goes up to 1.2 mil over the team of the year time period. He drops back down to 840, uh, 869,000 coins, like right during team of the year, 820 even. And then boom, as the game start to come back up, he spikes, he's going back to a million coins, right? So we are right here right now. We are basically at the peak. Some of these cards are never going to be higher than they are right now. There's going to be a big drop off as we head into team of the year. That's why my advice to you is take it safe, play it safe, sell these cards on Tuesday, Wednesday before their games. Um, and if you want to try to be risky and trade with them during the games or, you know, invest in a guy like Hazard, because like I mentioned, a guy like Hazard could very easily go back over to 800,000 coins. A guy like Griezmann, who was guaranteed the upgrade, who is 620K earlier this weekend, is still down in like the 550, 560,000 coin range, which is kind of interesting to me. Uh, this card is going to go to a 99, and I feel like people might buy this up because they're just wanting to invest in cards. Um, but I'm still a bit scared. Again, as I mentioned, with the whole market being sold off as a whole, these cards haven't really dropped. And I think their time is coming later this week with the upgrades on the horizon, more content coming out. That's why if you've invested, I want you to take the coins pretty early unless you're going to try to ride out a guy like Hazard who is low because their chance of getting in is slim then a big time rebound, and then you sell. And then of course he drops back down when they do get those upgrades. Very rarely have we seen in the past couple of years where these road to the final cards actually rise after they get the upgrade. It's very, very rare, spe specifically this upgrade right here during the group stages to the knockout stages. So that's kind of the road to the final stuff that I'm thinking about this week. Obviously a lot going on with that. Now let's, let's talk a little bit about... Um, icon swaps again that could possibly come today do i think it will i don't think so but i guess it's a possibility and that's why also i think you you find a lot of people not wanting to buy cards right now on the market because when that comes out that's going to take over everybody's minds and that's what everybody's going to be doing on fifa so they might not even have to drop any of that really insane spc content they just have to drop icon swaps and that would bring a lot of people and that would motivate a lot of people to do stuff on the game to get icons. So that would impact the icon market a little bit. That's why, again, I think you're seeing a lot of panic selling on icons this weekend, specifically today uh, or yesterday on Sunday into today on Monday. I think that's why you're seeing a lot of that panic. Now, I did mention that I was going to talk about um, player of the month, um, Bruno Fernandez. Bruno Fernandez should be coming out this Friday because the vote started last week. The vote should be closing early this week and you will see a player of the month Bruno come out. I think it's going to be 90 rated. And now a lot of you guys might be thinking it could be 91. I think it's going to be 90 rated, of course, because last year in FIFA 20, um, Lionel Messi got his first player of the month card. His first ever player of the month SBC last year was in December, right around this time. And the player of the month Messi was the it was a plus one from his his inform right Messi's inform was 95 rated he had a 96 rated team in the group stage and then they gave him a 96 rated player of the month as well it's the exact same situation with Bruno now of course EA could do whatever they want they could give him a 91 but I realistically realistically think it's going to be a 90 rated Bruno Fernandez and I think you're going to see panic selling on this card later in the week this week, and it could inhibit this card's rise because of that being in people's minds. I think Bruno is the clear cut winner. So if you want to start buying SBC fodder and sort of prepare for that, um, I guess you could if you wanted to. Uh, since that stuff is kind of lower right now, I would expect possibly somewhere around a million coins for that Bruno SBC because they have not made any player the most cheap this year. If they would make Bruno around like 750K or 800K, even with this card valued at 900 with similar stats, I think people would go nuts for a 90 Bruno. Um, just with how good this card is becoming uh, with the 80 pace, I've heard a lot of people say very, very good things about this Bruno Fernandez card. But let's talk about just trading in general for a second. If you're going to trade with cards this week, one guy that I've got my eye on, and this card type is going to be perfect for trading this week, is 
our favorites, the Rule Breakers. Rule Breakers and Record Breakers are both pretty rare items on this market. Alex Teixeira right now on the market is right around 230,000 coins, but he's very rare. He fluctuates all the time between like 220, 220 lows and um, like 230 to 240. I, I don't see that changing this week. I really don't. These special cards that are very rare out of packs are going to fluctuate. So uh, keep an eye on them, right? Keep an eye on them this week. Royce is another great one. Laporte, just trying to name some players that you guys might be able to use to add in your repertoire to be fluctuation trading with this week. I bought a Vardy to kind of finish out my weekly games tonight for 500K flat. Uh, and I think he's now in the 520 to 530 range. So basically right now I'm uh, breaking even, which with this car being 560 just yesterday, two days ago, I think he goes back a little bit more uh, into this week as well. So one thing I did not talk about yet was Team of the Group Stage cards. I said they were dropping off with the supply. Could these cards, wow, Marcus Rashford is 1.08 million coins. That's crazy. Now with these prices getting this low, as you guys are seeing the footprint screen right now and maybe seeing like, yo, these, these are mad low. This Marcus Rashford card, all right, that was an undercut. That was a footprint undercut because Marcus Rashford's 1-1-3. He was 1-3 on all day of Saturday until the market started going down, right? Messi's card is 1.6 mil. He was over 2 point, he was like 2.1 at multiple times this weekend. Um, wow, that's crazy for Messi that he's right around 1.7. That's wild that he's dropped off so much. De Bruyne's 45, Taylor Hernandez is low, Holland is low, Kimmich is low. Just like we had a lot of panic on Saturday morning and then there was a bounce back, I expect that some of these cards are just going to get low tonight and they are going to start to get bought back. There is going to be a point where they get too low. This Kimmich card bounces around like crazy. If I saw this at 200k flat, I would be a buyer. 206, is that getting insta-bought? It's not. Wow, that's crazy. I wish I had coins because I would probably snag that. Some of these cards that are on the lower tier of, of uh, price, I would watch around because I do think these guys are going to bounce up a little bit into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday if we don't get big time tradable content or icon swaps. Um, I think these guys are going to fluctuate a bit. Even though they're very packable, we have to be careful with the pack supply SBCs when they come. People are trying out these new cards and they're, they're trying them out because they're so cheap, right? The people that are playing FIFA are using these new cards because they're so cheap, man. 200K for this, right? 200K for a new 90 rated Kimmich, a new Sterling, 192, Holland, 279. A lot of these cards are very, very cheap. And that's, again, another reason why the market is so low uh, right now at this point in the game. So hopefully that covered a lot of you guys' questions for the market outlook this week. It's all going to depend on the content with what happens, but Road to the Finals are going to be the number one main attraction this week in terms of people watching Champions League, trying to make coins and trying to trade with this kind of stuff. So definitely keep an eye on the Road to the Final cards. There's going to be money made if you're risky with it enough during the games. If you want to watch the games or have notifications turned on, when a team scores a goal, there's going to be some panic selling. Like let's say if a lesser team is playing a favorite that is kind of still on the edge, right? Like let's play like Man U's game this week. Manchester United is playing Leipzig. Let's say Man U score first. That means Klosterman is going to drop. That means um, Rashford's going to go up. But then if Leipzig are really attacking in the second half and it looks like they might come back, then maybe you try to take a risk and you buy a Klosterman. And if they score and end up going ahead or something, then boom, it's going to be flip-flop. So that's the crazy fluctuations that you might see with these guys in game this week if you want to get really risky with it. So that's a very long market outlook video for your Monday, but there's a ton to talk about and just kind of talking about the state of the game as well. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.